Hello, today we're gonna talk about how to um, make multi mono setup in Reaper for compression so that, uh, for example, if you have a stereo or two guitars playing at left and right, you can have uh, a compressor uh, chain that will uh, compress them differently. So if one gets loud, the other stays uh, the same and only this gets pushed down. And uh, that's really useful when you have um, left and right materials that you want to equal. So uh, I'm, I haven't done it in a while in Reaper because I have um, uh, templates saved. So uh, let's figure it out together. So I want two tracks that I'm gonna use to split the signal left and right. So I'm gonna send the first channel here is going here. Let's see. Yeah, so it's first channel, maybe left. Yeah, it is. Are going to left input here. So I took number two out of it. And two. Oh, okay, yeah. So uh, now when we flip the face on this, we hear no sound because the sound goes from the drums to the master and from uh, the copy uh, right and left to the master and these are flipped. So uh, yeah. So from there, let's uh, group them. Let's make this happening here instead. So now, uh, if we're gonna save this as a template, it's much easier. If uh, now I can, now I can send from the drums to this track that I named input multi comp, and th this track I turn the master send off. So uh, this is just passing audio and routes them to two and three that has uh, one to one there and two to two here. So this is um, left and this is right. So here we got them split. So here is a good um, place to put a compressor on. Let's say uh, yeah, maybe there. And um, let's group these two out to uh, one here. So this is a parallel bus that I also put to send out. The shortcut for this is Alt click on this uh, here and the master send goes out. So we have the drums going to input multi comp that has the master send out so it doesn't send any signal anywhere. 
So we route the signal from here to left and right. Um, and uh, this has left compression and right compression. So here is where the magic happened. And we could leave them master in here, but uh, to make it easier, I just create cre will create a folder now for, for all of this. And now it can disappear to parallel comp. So when I have the drums here, I could just now go make a send to input multi-comp. And this does all the uh, signal splitting for me. Uh, so it's just a normal to, uh, yeah, I don't have to do anything weird. So let's compress a bit. Let Because then I just can blend the original signal with the compressed signal in whatever ratio. Awesome! I learned something new. Or yeah. nice. So that could be a parallel compressed version. This is a clean version. Nice. And uh, if we don't want to parallel compress, we can just uh, delete. I will just du duplicate this there and delete this here. And then I could, uh, if I want this effect on the drums, I would put this on here and um, put the master out and this track I can delete. And I would just name this drums. And put open folder, put the source track here in the folder, and like that. So here is the drum source, then, and uh, it goes to left and right as a split. Uh, yeah, so now it's basically left and right compression as an insert on this uh, track here, which could be useful if we don't want to parallel it, parallel compress it. So this would be useful if we have stereo guitars. Uh, yeah. So this goes to left and right, and we have the effect of only compression di directly on the drums, will, which will come out of this bus here. So I, it's important that you turn off uh, the master send on the right track. So it's no master send here, not here, nor here, but here it comes out. Everything comes out of drums, this one. So without compression, here, with 
Let's hear that tom fill without compression. No wave. Uh, okay, and let's hear that with the compression on the source track. Then the tom gets a lot louder because it's pushing down the side equal that the tom isn't on, so... With the, these two, the tom, uh, the left side will retain, retain its gain. And with this, the left side won't retain its gain. It's a bit subtle, but if we do it with guitars left and right, it will, it will uh, acoustic guitars, it will get very apparent that it's uh, retaining the stereo picture better. Uh, and yeah, what is also nice is that we can uh, delete this here. And this parallel chain, it's very easy to just send one send to this input multicomp. So uh, I would just, I don't know, I probably can save this track here. Uh, yeah, save this, save track as template. And uh, yeah. Or you can uh, save this uh, whole thing as a um, uh, project temple, template. And you can just open a new, this one. Yeah, so here I have a parallel compression. So how do... Okay, I have like several different different uh, compressors and stuff. So if we take a look at this one here. I color it, uh, yeah, some color. And I open this one. We have a receive here for 1176 compressor. And we just have a source track here. And send it to just this track and it's complete. So yeah, um, now you know how to do this in Reaper. It's pretty nice and see you in the next video.